Hey everybody. Oh, just checking the camera's working. Hey everybody, Matt here with Dutch Oven today. I got a lot of leftovers, especially after the big batch of Malibu chicken that I made last night. And I also had some leftover fried chicken, and I got creative. So we're going to have chicken cordon bleu leftover casserole. Stay tuned. I brought a pot of water to the boil. And I added two carrots and eight ounces of egg noodles. I also melted two tablespoons of butter in my cast iron pan. Yeah, I probably should have done this in the uh, Dutch oven, but I got going on this and just thought, oh wait, I can make this in a Dutch oven. So I've also got my charcoal preheating outside. To, to my browned butter, I'm adding half an onion, finely minced. Two sticks of finely minced celery. And one clove of finely minced garlic. When your noodles and carrots are cooked, remove them from heat. Here I have some diced ham and some cubed, both leftover Malibu chicken from yesterday's recipe, and a whole bunch of fried chicken that was left over, just brought home by a family member. I got some ham chopped up in there too. It's about five pieces, six pieces of uh, deli style, but you can also use, you know, uh, good old ham roast. And I've set aside my leftover breading from the fried chicken that fell off. I've set that aside for a reason. And I've also got about a quarter cup of uh, Swiss cheese, which is what I had left over, and I've got plenty of mozzarella that I'm going to add to it as well. Now, we go ahead and drain our noodles and carrots to our sautéed vegetables and butter. I'm adding about two tablespoons of flour. Next. Just stir it in, making this what's called a roux. Don't be afraid to scrape the pan just a smidgen. We're going to let the flour cook down for just a couple seconds. Now that the flour is cooked down just a bit, I'm going to add third a cup of milk just to and we're going to mix it in we're doing it just to break up kind of that thick paste kind of like you see right there and once we get that going we're going to want to add just take our milk I'm just going to add milk a little at a time and mix it in as needed. Also, as you're adding liquid, you can also add chicken stock or chicken broth. If you're using just straight milk, I've added about a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, or you could add a bouillon cube. I like adding it now because it gives the moisture time to let it really release a lot of its flavor into our sauce. Next to an oiled or lubed cast iron pan, we're going to add our noodle mixture. You don't have to use carrots, but we like plenty of vegetables in my family. And just spread it evenly. Best not to use your bare hands because this is still hot. Next, I'm going to just sprinkle frozen peas to, well, I'm not going to get technical. For what looks good. That's maybe half a cup. And it's okay if they're frozen. You can always use canned, but I prefer frozen. Overall, I've probably added about a cup of liquid to this. And to that, I'm adding my diced Swiss cheese and about a cup of shredded mozzarella. You could use all Swiss if you'd like. 
Now, make sure that your heat is on low. We're just gonna melt the cheese right on in. Just stir constantly. Make sure that cheese gets nice and melted into that sauce. Got a big chunk there, let's break that up. Once everything's incorporated, go ahead and turn off the heat. Back at our noodle mixture, we're adding our meats. Again, this is about four cups of chopped chicken and a little bit of ham. Then we're just gonna pour our GG sauce, which is hard one-handed with a cast iron pot. Just that. Just gonna pour that right on over everything. All right. Once your gravy has been thrown on, I'm gonna top mine. You could use crushed up croutons, breadcrumbs. I'm just using this leftover from the uh, fried chicken that I chopped up. All the crust that fell off. I thought it'd be a wonderful, just kind of flavor thing on there so we'll it looks amazing let's put it to the fire the great thing about a casserole like this is it's not going to take too long to cook because everything including the chicken has been pre-cooked and a lot of it's already warm so what we're wanting is just to heat it through and even in a unpreheated dutch oven set to 350 it should take us around half an hour here we go. Take a look at that. I don't know if the mic will pick it up, but you can hear it, and it sounds delicious. Is it yummy, kiddo? Mm -hmm. Give me a thumbs up. Say yummy, yummy food. Yummy, yummy food. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> and how old are you today? Cheese. Yep. Good yep. job. That's so good. Who's the king of leftovers? <laughs>